India has responded to the allegations that have been made by the Canadian agency about how it has reportedly tried to interfere in the country's elections. The ministry has issued a statement wherein they rejected the allegations and have allegedly alleged hypocrisy by Ottawa. Spokesperson of the External Affairs Ministry have called the allegations baseless, adding that core issues is uh, Ottawa's uh, interference in New Delhi's past. My colleague Brian Thomas joins us on the broadcast to give us more details on this. Brian, uh, if you could take our viewers through this strong statement that has been made. Uh, definitely, Asavri, Canada's intelligence agency has leveled accusation against um, countries like India and Pakistan alleging interference in the ca Canadian uh, electoral process during both the 2019 and 2021 elections. And India, yes swiftly rebutted, rebutted the claims made by CSIS, denouncing them as baseless and even hi highlighting that Ottawa's um, past interference in New Delhi's um, uh, internal affairs and even Ranveer Jaiswal, who is a spokesperson for the military of uh, external affairs, has emphasized India's long-standing policy of non-interference in the domestic uh, democratic processes of other nations, contrasting it as well with Canada's alleged meddling in Indian affairs. And even uh, Jaiswal's remark also came in response to the report by CSI as part of the Federal Commission of Inquiry investigating potential foreign interference in Canada's elections. And this report it implicates that India, among other nations, um, in, in clandestine activities aimed at influencing electoral outcomes. And it also alleges that in 2021, the Indian government had conducted covert operations through proxy agents in Canada targeting specific electoral districts perceived to have a significant Indo-Canadian uh, population sympathetic to the Khalistani movement or pro-Pakistani sentiments. And even the document also suggests that the Indian government uh, funneled illegal financial support also to pro-India uh, Indian candidates through proxy agents to sway election results. However, CSI's director David um, uh, Vigond also cautioned that the allegations outlined in the report should not be treated as verified facts and necessitate further investigation as they are based on uncorroborated uh, co or even single sourced or incomplete information. And definitely India's strong uh, response, uh, Asabri underscores the gravitas of the accusation and reflects its commitment to upholding the principles of non-interference in the internal matters of other countries and the allegations, if proven true, could have definitely significant diplomatic repercussions between both India and Canada, potentially straining their bilateral ties as the inquiry into foreign interference also unfolds. Both countries await further clarity on the matter and the outcome of the investigation. All right, yes, uh, Brian, uh, with that, I'd like to thank you for joining us on the broadcast, sharing all those details with our viewers. Meanwhile, joining us at this point of time is Colonel J.S. Sodhi, international affairs expert. So good morning and uh, thank you so much for speaking to us on News X. Now, MEA has delivered strong statements against, uh, against the allegations leveled by the Canadian spy agencies. We've completely junked the Canada's um, election interference charges. What do you make of these statements that have been made? Jain Dasavri, it's my honour to be on your esteemed channel. It is indeed very humorous that a developed country like Canada is putting false allegations on a de developing country like India of interference in their internal elections. Well, till now, it had always been the opposite that developed countries were interfering in the elections of the de developing countries. The government of India has made it totally clear that as a matter of intent and policy, India does not interfere in the internal affairs of any country, be it whatsoever, for any reason whatsoever. Hence, this is yet again a false allegation by Canada on India. The earlier one that they put was of the killing of Richard. Well, this clearly shows that Justin Trudeau is losing his popularity in Canada and just to wean away the attention of the Canadian citizens in view of the general election in Canada next year, he is again and again putting false allegations of India which have no substance and no base at all. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.